Alright yeah, guys, this is um, the next video. Um, what to feed your spiders. Um, there's a, loads of different choices you can you can have. Uh, the main one is crickets or locusts. Um, most people I know have used crickets. I personally prefer to use locusts. Um, the main difference between the two is crickets are omnivores and they will eat anything. If they're hungry and you have a freshly molted tarantula, which when they're spiderlings you know, it's very difficult to know when they're going to when they're going to molt. Um, they can eat your spider. Uh, they can damage them. So I personally prefer not to take the risk. I use locusts. This is a, a large locust there. Uh, they come in various sizes. Uh, for spiderlings, you're looking at wanting to use small locusts. Those are, you know, fairly new hatched. Is the one in there? Yeah, there are some in there. They're very small though. Tiny little ones. Yeah. Um, then you get uh, the, this is about well, it's probably a bit, a little bit bigger than a medium actually. To be fair, it's quite a lot bigger than a medium. But uh, a medium would be a, a bit smaller than that. So you're probably looking at a large medium to small large. That is. Then extra large locusts look like that. And um, currently, I don't have any actually full fully grown ones, fully matured locusts, but uh, you'll know what they look like when you see them. They're massive, full on, proper wings, everything, the works. Um, this is what I house my locusts in here, as you can see. I've found, I've only just set this up as well, so I'll let you know how this works. I'm trying to prolong the life of my locusts, because I find I'm always having to replace them and it, you know, individually it doesn't cost much to buy a, a tub. I get these for £2.50 a tub which isn't too dear but when you're having to do that every week and it does add up so I'm, I'm trying to increase the lifespan of my locusts by putting them in this larger enclosure. I've got, if you can see, I've got fish food on the bottom down there and I have a little feeding bowl in the corner, the near side corner near you which I had filled up yesterday with, um, God, I can't remember what, what, what I filled up. Dandelion leaves, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, dandelion leaves, yeah. And they've gone through that, so I need to fill that up again. Basically, the idea is you want to gut load your food item. Gut loading is when you feed them something that's highly nutritious, full of minerals, nutrients, all that, um, and then just after they've been gut loaded, you feed them to your tarantula so it passes over. Um, so you want to be feeding them something like fish food or dandelions, grass, sometimes lettuce because it's got higher water value so that's where they can get their um, moisture. Um, but anything that you think is high in um, nutrients, stuff, a bit of fruit won't hurt, carrot, um, anything, use common sense, anything that you would eat generally, they'll eat as long as it's vegetable. But these aren't omnivores, they're purely vegetarian. Um, I prefer them, I always use them. Um, you can use crickets, they'll eat, you could feed crickets um, the same vegetable items but also you could feed them cat food, dog food, anything like that. If you're looking at getting any of the bird eating tarantulas, we're talking Theraphosa blondi or Latidora parahabana, you want to be looking at getting dubia roaches, uh, I don't have any but uh, they can get to about 2 inches. Um, if I ever get some, I'll post up a, a colony video on them. Um, and I'll let you know how these locusts come on. If anyone has any advice on the locusts, how to increase the longevity, that would be great. I'd, I'd really appreciate some help on that. Um, and yeah, good luck guys. Cheers.